absolutely. I think the industry has changed so much, even in the past like handful of years. I mean, I wrote the script 10 years ago. I started writing oh, wow. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, timing. I had a long gap in between, but yeah, but I think even at the time, you know. We're throwing this dinner thing next Saturday. You guys should come. You invited who? Local shopkeeper. We are running a charity service, huh? Sure, aunties without borders. Sheila, it's me, Bhairavi, Delhi University. Your mother was incredibly brave. Back then, my life was complicated. I want your life to be simple. Parents are full of surprises. Our parents are full of sh- Okay. Hey, I'm Jim Alexander with Real Talker. I'm still blown away by your hair. Like, I've seen three different versions of you in the last 24 hours, so... <laughs> <laughs> is this for a role Sophia or just for fun you like to mix it up it's just for fun it's completely for fun I love it <laughs> that's so I was gonna start off asking where's the next party since I've seen so many parties in that the film I mean like you guys know how to throw a party clearly yeah oh yeah we were just saying the party never stops with certain Indian communities just it just keeps going it's like a non-stop party all the time it yeah. really does. I, I, I love mean, to throw a party. I, I I probably get it from that. <laughs> oh, so you're like the host type, the party host type? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I, I'd only imagine. I you like to live, leave my place. So I'm just like, everyone got me. I'll have a party. <laughs> well, that's convenient. <laughs> you know, watching this movie, it kind of felt familiar to me because a lot of my close friends are Indian. I grew up with that and I've seen it and I've seen how the families interact and my friends always talking about things and, you know, the dating and, and the drama. It's, it's fun. So for me, I like, I enjoy what I saw. I, I was curious to, to, to know, I was kind of thinking when watching the movie, I'm like, I wonder if this movie would have the potential viewership and appeal 10, 15 years ago that it would now. I think we're so much more open-minded to seeing movies of this kind with Crazy Rich Asians, and you saw the success of that. Um, Gita, I'm going to ask you, did you think this is the right time for this movie, and it maybe would have been uh, not have as many eyes on it 10, 15 years ago? Absolutely. I think the industry has changed so much, even in the past like handful of years. I mean, I wrote the script 10 years ago. I started writing. Oh, wow. It. Yeah. I mean, Good I had a gap in between. But yeah, but I think even at the time, you know, my first feature was about um, an Indian girl who goes on a road trip to find her father. Everyone was like, why is she Indian? It has nothing to do with the story. You know, and it's like now you can write a story like that and say, because we experience these things, too, as Indian Americans. These are our stories, too. Um, and Crazy Rich Asians, I feel like, opened the door. I don't think my movie would exist without Crazy Rich Asians because... Mm. That's exactly what happened. It was like 20 years ago with the Joy Luck Club, an all Asian cast. Suddenly we have another film that's, you know, very successful with an all Asian cast. And I think that opened the audience's mind, but also the industry's mind to say, oh, we can have an all South Asian cast, for instance, and see, you know, and tell that kind of story. And I think it's been a big change lately. Yeah. Sophia, was there any kind of, I mean, you know, any sort of like real life situations maybe growing up or that you kind of took into this role? Because I'm like, I know your character. I know friends of mine that are like, I, I totally saw that happening. Um, what sort of real life inspirations did you take? The whole, yeah, the whole movie is just really <laughs> me. Yeah, no, I relate to Alia in a lot, a lot, a lot of ways. Um, yeah, in, in a large part. Um, I think that... Uh, Uh, what was your question again? <laughs> well, how, how, how did you, your like upbringing or life maybe relate to your character? Cause it seems like it was very natural when I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, it's probably a lot of it are potential instances you you've had or seen. <laughs> yes. Um, who I, I, I really don't know how to narrow it down for you, mm -hmm. you know, like genuinely the whole entire movie. I can relate to um, <laughs> about being like the rebel. You're talking about her purple hair and stuff, being the rebel, Alia being the rebel and Sophie Alia being, the being the rebel. Um, I'm a rebel, uh, <laughs> you know, cutting her hair. I, I cut my hair. I change my hair so frequently. Like I, I you know, what? clearly, I, clearly I did <laughs> shave my head, not for the movie. That was a, uh, am I allowed to say that? Oh, Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll we'll add stuff to it. Okay. Is that a spoiler? We I'll add a spoiler. I don't think it is really. Okay. 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 Um <laughs> <laughs> I I shaved my head um one time after I was filming something for a really long time. And you know, it, 
I just Great. sometimes when you're like being confined for a, a and this is something Alia would do, you know, and you're confined for a long period of time. You just want to like take control and just like, ah, I know I control what I look like. And then, yes. like, you know, I think especially if I can piggyback on that for Indian women, the journey of hair is a really important thing. And it's a really big deal. You know, her mm-hmm. mom makes that comment to her at the beginning of the film, but Indian women are traditionally supposed to have the long flowing thick black hair. And so, you know, people who cut their hair, people who shave their heads, people who have the short haircuts, it, it represents something. They're like the auntie that you have to be like, Oh, what's that auntie about? You know? <laughs> so. And I think, and I think as an actor, you know, I've, I've always had this expectation to sort of, um, encapsulate the traditional like how an Indian should look you know and so that's why I always feel this need to like rebel against even just that you know like no I'm not going to look like a, your typical Indian because I can look because I can't yeah. <laughs> I, look, I can look whatever I want of choice I right want to look, you know um, so I'm going to take it <laughs> This was awesome. Uh, I know we're out of time already. When you're having fun, it goes by quick. But uh, hope to connect with you again. I had a lot of fun watching this movie. And Sophia, I can't wait for Uncharted to see you in it. So keep on doing awesome things. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Have a great one.